Mr. Memo. You see, it starts again. Ah, uh, seriously? This game are boring. But you can make different choices now and it will lead you to a different story. And I'm telling I will die again. How do you know? Maybe there's a way out. Uh, Maybe you can make it out of the whole thing. Okay, let me try When Stanley it. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I go to the right This was one. not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Wow, now you just break all the rules. Just crazy. I'm not, I just take a look. Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> hmm. Some kind of warehouse. Hey. Yeah. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who? I don't know who. Her. I really hate this guy. <laughs> you hate the guy? You don't feel he's your friend? Now you're gonna lead me to that room again. Ooh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to... Hello? <laughs> I don't think he's gonna talk to you. Um. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... your day. <laughs> Gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Uh-oh. He's in his story now. He's doing with you, with you whatever he wants. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning. Press P on your keyboard. That's what he wants. Are you gonna press P or not? Okay, I'm not tired. Let's go. I cannot do anything. I, I... Looks like you can't do anything. Okay, please. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. He just makes you push buttons now. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. No, I trapped him in here. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, 
everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Hmm. Wow, you see? You think it was a dream? So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy hmm. world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Tell your kids a story. Oh, is this gonna go in, go in forever? It's probably it was gonna go forever. such a wonderful yeah. fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. The first time it's better. I made the choice, <laughs> I died proudly. Well, that's because this time you didn't follow the guy's How rules. In reality, so what? Now he traps you in this room. The first time he asked me to click off the, the system, I didn't. Here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Ah, uh, do not. You see? Can he just not hear me? How no, I, I want to see what happens. You want to keep it challenging him. He remains here. Okay. He's acting to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time... Okay, I'm gonna restart again. it again. And Stanley Please die. pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I I died. died again. Yeah, you died. Okay. Well, that didn't take you far. So maybe we need a third try. No, I don't want to try anymore. I hate this guy. <laughs> you hate this guy? You don't think there's a way out? Mm, probably. No, actually, I don't. Let's try one more time. Okay. <laughs>